What is up everybody? This is Cowboy from Team Fuel Gaming and I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a new series. I'm going to call it Dashboard where we're going to do uh, me, Austin, and Derek probably going to take turns doing random dashboard games picked out by our viewers. But uh, to go ahead and start this, we're, we're going to start on uh, a popular one here a while back. This little game here, Toy Soldiers, blew up pretty big. And I'm going to go ahead and take you through the first level so you can see what it's all about. You can get it on the dashboard pretty cheap now. So let's do, um, uh, this is the first one. Okay. Just a little dashboard game. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a <clears throat> tower defense. Uh, second part was released to this. It's Toy Soldiers Code War. It's a pretty good game too. We'll be showing you that later on. But if you guys have any dashboard games or Steam games that you'd like to see, feel more than free to um, send us a comment and we'll try to get it in for you. And this is just pretty much a wave system. You have uh, usually increase at different types of troops, some hard, some not. Uh, you have several different platforms. But it's been so long since I played this, it's, I just might as well have not even played this. Okay, camera's pretty cool. Just little troops. Oops, I just already messed up. I auto-launched that. Okay. 90 degrees. Let me figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Right thumbstick. So, we're going to start out with a classic machine gun here. And a classic machine gun here. This is the first couple waves, is just troops, so this should be enough. What? Yeah. You can also take control of them, like so. Try to get some of these guys that have flew back here already. Okay, you can be out of them. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. No, 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 no. No, I didn't quite get him. Usually that don't happen. Anyway, this is a pretty fun little mini game here. You can also upgrade them, but by doing so, it puts them out for just a second. We'll go ahead and upgrade this one. Fire on this one back here. And it'll do more damage, and a lot of times it'll shoot more shells, different types of bullets. Let's see if we can't start saving up for a uh, howitzer. And yes, your guns overheat, so you gotta be careful. Alright. 18 pounder, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. That's pretty fun. How much is it to upgrade? 700, okay. You have a different choice. You can do uh, barbed wire. Because they're all going to come in from right here. It slows them down. The only thing is, your 18 pounder will knock the crap out of them if you set them out too far. Yeah, buddy. Just tearing them up. You have a choice between the machine gun, uh, mortar, the big. 18 pounder howitzer, anti aircraft gun, and then the flamethrower for infantry. So we got enough here, we're gonna upgrade this one. Go ahead and launch this. I don't know how long these waves actually last, I forget. And in some levels, you have uh, actual little airplanes you can drive around, and actual snipe towers that you can get in. Snipe, it's pretty neat. Let me take control of this, son. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what 
what I'm talking about. And there's really, it's not a, too violent of a game, because they don't blow up into blood and stuff. It's just, they blow up into springs, and it's pretty neat. I like how it's pretty interactive, how it lets you actually take control of stuff. See how they're busted into springs and parts. Oh, them guys throw knights. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put another 18 back here. And I guess we can go ahead and put flamethrower over here. We'll see if it reached. No, it's a chemical thrower, actually. $800 for an upgrade. And the bigger, the, the farther you go up in levels, the more stuff you have to maintain, the more plots you have, the more directions that they can come in. Go ahead and put up some more devil's rope here. See, my howitzer just blew the crap out of my barbed wire. I just got him putting up. Wow. Oh well. I do believe my men is shooting at each other. <laughs> How much is it? 800. Upgrade again. Oh, that's a full upgrade. A little missile thing. 1200. Okay. So they come out of these little houses and trenches and things. And you're inside of a toy box the whole time. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, some maps you can actually see outside the toy box and it's pretty funny. even got, I don't know if it's even got enough range to do anything. Hmm. See if we can't catch somebody. Yep. Yeah. Caught a couple people. Oh yeah. That's where you boys need to be shooting. Whoa. You can either press it, like this, or you can actually hold it in and follow your bullet. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, you can steer your bullet a little bit. We'll go ahead and launch this wave here. Oh, son. This wave means business. I'm pretty interactive. I don't like my towers doing too much. <laughs> I can pretty much... I like taking control of at least one machine gunner because I can kind of prioritize. Mm, okay, now cavalry. And it looks like some armored units coming up. <laughs> 18 pounder you got it though oh yeah I forgot about that horses can jump over everything come on come on final enemy alright let's see the score here Your rank and everything. 
and if you're just starting the game this you will unlock several things as you go like not everything will be unlocked at first um, and you can't upgrade very high in the first levels but you can get more up let me see if it says highest flying soldier 190 feet that's pretty funny but anyway guys that was the first episode of toy soldiers on dashboard games if you'd like to see more of this played just holler at me and I'll do another couple of levels or we'll make it into a let's play. But you can pick this up on the dashboard if you'd like. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe.